So, Brad Grills, tell the audience at home what you're doing right now. Well, what we're doing now is we're travelling and we're going to go and get Rob from the Rolling Logs. And we're going to be we're going to be doing a short film today. Um, you know, survival situations, that sort of thing. And you know, we're going to we're just going to be having a look, see what his skill set is. You know, see if there's anything we can learn from each other. Um, I'm sure there is, because you can always learn something in life. So yeah, so that's what we're doing now. We're going to go, we're going to pick up Rob, then we're going to drive to the location, and then we're going to, you know, sort out some survival scenarios, that sort of thing. And we're going to see how the day goes, really. That's... And of course, the location has been hidden from Rob. It's a, it's a secret location, um, so he can't, he can't go on Google or or anything like that and try and and try and get the upper hand if you like. Um, we've, we've kept it from him. He knows you know that we've kept it from him on purpose. So it's just a case of picking him up, take him to the location and and see how well we all get on. Okay, well we'll see you in a bit. Yeah you will. You will I've better Carry on with the driving, okay? Alright, see you soon. Yeah, you will. Right, so we've been and got got Rob, and we're on our way to the location. There he is. The weather's not fantastic today. Um, in, in fact, it's, it's pouring down with rain. Um, and we're just going to have to see see how we get on. The rain actually helps because we're, we're talking about you know stepping out of the comfort zone and there's nothing more uncomfortable than being cold and wet so we'll, we'll see how see how Rob does when he's out in the wilderness. I have provisions. I'm completely prepared for this excursion. You're, you're properly prepared. What, what provisions have you got a drink there? You got a sandwich? No, no, just, just a drink. Just a drink. That's, that's good prep. That's good prep for stepping into an unknown survival situation. We won't be longer than half an hour, will we? Well, you never know. I mean, with with survival, it can be, you know, as long as it takes to, to make it out alive, really. So, we'll just have to, just have to wait and see. So where are we actually going with this? Where, where are we heading to? We're, we're heading to some of the wilderness in... I think you're on a holiday there once. Sorry? I think I've been on holiday there once. In the wilderness? Yeah. I've not seen wilderness like this before. I mean, you, you think of the Badlands, you think of, you know, all these, you know, places like Montana, the Canadian wilderness. Where we're going Swansea. now... Swansea. Swansea, Port Talbot even. Mind you, that's Port Talbot's more of an urban wilderness. But you think of, you know, Canadian wilderness, the Amazon, dangerous places where survival is key. And, and this place is really going to take you out of your comfort zone and really going to, really going to push you to see. I did go, go to Glasgow once. You went, well, yeah, again, another urban, urban jungle where. Nothing says danger like Glasgow. Absolutely. I mean, you know, surviving in a hostile environment like Glasgow does take a lot of doing. As you can tell, I was fired from my job as the Scottish Tourist Board Administrator. Yeah, I was going. I meant to ask you what happened with that. that Didn't last very long. You know, free knives for everyone apparently isn't a very good Friday kind of promotion. So I don't know. I, I got I got the sack. So they let you go from that particular post. It was by mutual consent. It really was. It was. Well, nobody wants to go to Glasgow anyway, really. But. Yes, it was agreed uh, by all parties. Sorry? It was agreed by all parties. Agreed by all parties. Good luck in your future endeavours. Um, so yeah, so we'll have a look at the... We'll, we'll get the lay of the land and we'll, we'll put you in some survival situations and stuff. But, you know, we'll just have to... You'll have to wait and see. When we get there, I'm sure you'll be quite impressed by the magnitude and 
beauty of, of the Kent countryside because this really is a spectacular location and we've, we've, we've scattered it out, me and Chris the cameraman, and we've, we've kept this area by knowing that you was, you know, we was going to be... I feel like royalty, I really do. You know, we knew we was collaborating with the rolling logs. So we thought, well, we'll keep this particular area reserved just for that. So uh, we'll just have to go out there and, and enjoy it. That's the that's the key. So uh, and not die. I don't and, want to die. And we'll we'll try and I have dinner reservations. I, I can't I can't die. We'll try not to let you die too much. Um, you know, if it happens, then you know we'll. Uh, Got a pen and paper. We'll leave a note on you saying what your name is and where you lived, and uh, and eventually someone will find you. So, so that's you know that's what we'll do. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you at location. We'll yeah. The next next time you see us now, we'll be on location or in dead the countryside. Either one. E or dead. Keep, Keep watching. One. Keep watching. I'm Bry Grills. And I'm Rob from the Rolling Logs. And we're going to go into the wild see what challenges present themselves. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, we've just encountered our first obstacle and it's a very wet downhill slope that we've got. Uh, Bob, what you need to do is you need to be confident, okay? Find your footing, be confident and go for it. I'll show you how, then you follow. Go down backwards, right? Pardon? Go down backwards, right? No, just, just keep going off the wall. That's it. challenge as you can see is some man-made steps now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you tackle this first what you need to do is you need to focus where, you, where the steps are you know and just just go for it think, just don't think of it as slippery soaking wet steps in the pouring down rain just think of it as a normal flight of steps to the bikini mate. To the, yeah all the way to the top and uh, all right, I'll let you go and then I'll follow on. That's it, careful now, careful. Good stuff, good stuff. That's, yeah, brilliant. That's it, oh, easy, easy, easy. You don't want to go to, that's it, you've got to pick your foot in, pick your foot in carefully, you know, be careful with it and we'll just carry on, shall we? Right, what we're going to do now is because it is pouring down with rain, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Rob from the rolling logs here. There's a, there is a link to build a shelter with the logs. And that's going to be Bob's job to make a shelter for myself, him and the crew. And hopefully we'll be able to get dry, get a bit of respite from the rain. All right then, okay. I'll uh, leave you to it. Right, so I've been left to build a shelter on my own, um, just me in the wild. So, as we can see, I mean, I've got to find an area that I can build it in. It's got to be big enough for myself and everyone else. Um, and I've got to find the resources myself. So I'm going to get cracking, we're going to see what happens, and I'll show you the finished product when it's done.